What is going on guys? Welcome to another installment of airchecker.com. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a couple different WeTech M4 gas blowback upgrade nozzles that I've used over the past couple of years of owning a WeTech M4. Um, we're going to take a look at the stock one. This is the Poseidon Anti-Ice uh, Zero nozzle. And then the current one I'm using, which is the RATEC magnetic locking and pass uh, nozzle that comes with the interchangeable heads and the tool for it so let's get right into it okay so the first nozzle we're going to take a look at it's nothing crazy it's just a stock one i'm going to use this as a base comparison um in my personal opinion if you're not going to be wanting to do anything crazy upgrades like changing the whole nozzle itself i'd recommend just changing out the flute valve inside you can get some pretty decent um you know, Aritech makes one. You can get some pretty decent end passes that go in there if you're trying to look for something that's uh, adjustable FPS. You can also do the Poseidon Ice Pick series of flute valves. Uh, there's three different ones. I think it's like purple, gold, and red. Um, each one has its own purpose. Uh, you'll have to look on uh, the website to see if uh, what they offer. I think they're on Poseidon's website. Or if uh, not, you can check uh, evic.com, I believe. Um, but that would be like the best like budget friendly i want to change some performance on my gun because normally these nozzles the stock ones they shoot like 450 out of the box which is insane so i would double check that if you want that's something budget friendly probably sub 30 bucks all right so the next one we're going to check out is the poseidon one now the poseidon one i'm going to be honest i haven't had very good luck with uh, this is actually my third nozzle that I've owned from Poseidon. The first one, um, within one magazine, the back end blew out. Completely blew out. Cracked. Dumped a bunch of gas everywhere. It wasn't good. The second one I owned, the loading or uh, locking fins right here on top, I guess you can call them. They completely broke off. Um, and uh, I had to get this one, my third one, which it was having this weird... Uh, getting stuck in the hop-up unit issue and it eventually got to the point where the back end right there it cracked it just finally broke off um so i decided to ditch this nozzle oh fun fact also it doesn't come with an impasse it comes with the red uh poseidon ice pick uh flute valve which it says it's supposed to shoot 1.1 to 1.2 joules which actually it shoots like 420 which is nothing close to that. So, and it shoots like 2.6 joules. So, um, that's something that I don't know. Maybe I got just, uh, maybe this uh, ice pick one is misadvertised or something, but um, it just wasn't shooting as advertised, which was kind of disappointing. Which brings us to the final air nozzle and the current one I'm using, which is the Aritech magnetic locking nozzle with the end pass. Now, this is made completely out of uh, CNC aluminum. Right here, underneath the screw head, that's where the uh, magnet is for the end pass. Um, so what you do is, with this tool, you can take the, the tip off, and you can stick this end in. It has a little socket, and you can adjust it, and it clicks. And you can hear how many clicks it clicks. And uh, I was reading on Aritech's website, and it says you shouldn't go over seven clicks, so I kept it right on seven. And I'm using the middle-sized uh, tip right here, and it shoots 400 on the dot. And the like, I use a 30-round magazine, like this, 30-round magazine. And uh, from the first round to the to the last round, it's about 400 to 380 FPS. Uh, I'm not sure on the jewels, but um, I'm assuming it's. Uh, you know, playable jewel, especially since some fields now are um, relying more on jewel count than FPS count. Um, also, too, with the other tips that it comes with, this one's the 500 FPS one. You can tell it's 500 FPS because it has the huge uh, opening. And this is supposed to be the sub 350 one. It has more of a smaller opening. It just restricts the gas output. output. Um, but overall, I would say the Aritech nozzle would be the way to go. Um, I've had no issues with it. I played probably four or five uh, weekend-long games with it, and uh, I've had no issues. Um, 
I've did I did do some slight modifications to the bolt, like uh, sanding down, making it smoother, so it's less abrasive on other internal components. Um, but other than that, it's a completely stock gun. So I would recommend the Aritech magnetic lock locking nozzle. Uh, it is 120 bucks, which is kind of a downside uh, compared to the Ice Pick, which is about f or the uh, Poseidon Zero, which is about 45 bucks. But you also get greater quality. You get literally way more customization and you don't have to worry about things exploding on you when you're when you need the gun the most in an airsoft situation um so i highly recommend this nozzle um, if you have any uh questions or anything that i missed just go ahead and drop in the comment section below um, i'll be leaving links for these in the description and uh, uh small details um so with that being said i'm out